Port Fouchon is at the very bottom of Bayou Lafourche. Now, it doesn't have as long of a history as other parts of the bayou, but its importance is still astronomical. Port Fouchon is a coastal port that's used primarily as a land base for about 250 offshore energy and service companies. It's made up of a bunch of individually leased and independently run specialized docks and service facilities. Now, this makes it different from typical ports that would fill up with traditional cargo. In addition, there is commercial and recreational fishing, a foreign cargo shipping terminal, and an area for recreation and tourism. About 400 large supply ships and 1,200 trucks per day move through Port Fouchon. It's also a land base for Loop, or the Louisiana Offshore Oil Port. Now, Loop handles 10 to 15 percent of the nation's domestic oil, 10 to 15 percent of the nation's foreign oil, and is connected to 50 percent of U.S. refining capacity. Loop is the only U.S. port that's capable of offloading large and ultra-large crew carriers. Fouchon's position on the mouth of Bayou Lafourche makes it easily accessible to any area in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. This enabled it to become the most important and richest area in the Gulf Coast region. Helicopters fly about 15,000 people per month hundreds of miles out to the offshore oil platforms that stand like gigantic monoliths in the vast waters of the Gulf. These massive platforms with names like Bullwinkle, Petronius, and Thunder Horse extract oil in thousands of feet of water. The Perdido, operated by Shell for example, drills in over 8,000 feet of water. Now, all of these Goliaths operate their land bases at Fouchon, which supplies an astounding 95% of the entire Gulf of Mexico's deep water energy production. Port Fouchon is under the direction of the Greater Lafourche Port Commission, which was established by the state of Louisiana in 1960 as a political subdivision in the state of Louisiana. They exercise jurisdiction over the 10th ward of Lafourche Parish, south of the intercoastal waterway, including Port Fouchon and the Leonard Miller Airport in Galliano. The commission is made up of nine elected officials, and every six years, the residents of the 10th ward of Lafourche elect all nine. The Port Commission clears the way for economic growth by maximizing the flow of trade and commerce, largely through Port Fouchon. A large blue sculpture was unveiled on October 21, 2017, officially titled Lady of the Gulf. It's a big blue sculpture of a mermaid ascending from the water with a cloak that includes diving fins and an oil rig. Designed by Robert Epstein, it is a memorial to those who died in the Gulf of Mexico and was inspired by the 11 men who perished on the Deepwater Horizon oil rig that exploded on April 20th, 2010. The survivors were taken to the emergency command center that stands behind the statue. Now, oil is an essential commodity that can never be cut out of the energy sector completely. But I feel like all of us can agree that a diversified economy would supply a ton of jobs and opportunities. This was also where the record-breaking Hurricane Ida made landfall in August 2021. Now, people along the destructive path of this storm are still rebuilding and repairing their lives as of this recording. But Fouchon was repaired fairly quickly. And that's what happens when big oil needs to make big money. Now, Fouchon is a shining testament to how important Louisiana is to the entire United States. And the people and the workforce of Bayou Lafourche and the surrounding communities should be treated as such because after all, they're the ones who are actually busting their behinds to bring energy that powers this country. Highway 1 continues down to Chenier and Grand Isle, but be sure to stop by Moran's Marina to grab some food after that long drive across the bridge. We couldn't bring you this information without your support on Patreon, and we'd like to thank those who have contributed already and encourage anyone watching this video to consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Louisiana Dread. For more history, horror, folklore, and culture, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread Quick History.